What is up everyone? This is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to be talking you through the TubeBuddy Tutorials 2021. So a lot of things have changed in TubeBuddy throughout the years and this is going to be a beginner tutorial for a lot of people to kind of like get one up to date on how TubeBuddy works, how the new features work because again if you're new and you're watching a lot of the old videos they're kind of outdated and nothing wrong with those videos it's just TubeBuddy actually did a refresh so they changed a lot of things hence why I'm making this video. So I've used TubeBuddy for years, honestly. I've have I've have a few channels, and a couple of them have gone over 10k. My latest one is a gaming channel that I've got over 6k within like six months, and all because of TubeBuddy. So uh, this is a new tutorial channel that I've made. I'm gonna kind of walk you through all the fun stuff that I do to utilize this feature. Now, before I even get into this, TubeBuddy is a paid slash free feature, so you can literally either use the paid version or the free version. I almost always advise people to check out the free version first. You don't need to try the paid version to kind of like kick it off. You can try the free one and then the paid one, it's technically 10 or 20 or $50 a month, but there's actually a link that I will leave in the description below. I am not sponsored by them, FYI, <laughs> where you can get the pro version lifetime for $40. It's available online. They randomly send you emails if you're a free version like, hey, limited time offer, do it. I, anyone can use the link. <laughs> I've used it multiple times from my other channels, the same exact link, and it keeps working. So I'm going to share with you guys so you can obviously you can go and get that feature if you opt in to buy. You don't need to pay $10 a month. That's, no. <laughs> you can pay $40 for one time and you're good to go. Um, but first, I'm going to kind of dive into like TubeBuddy, all the different features, what it can and what it cannot do. So first, let's just go to YouTube. Now, one of the good things that I like about TubeBuddy is it all depends on like your niche of channel and it actually very much helps you on what you need to do to basically grow. So for example, we will use this video as an example on what can and cannot be done. So TubeBuddy tutorial 2021. So when you search something in YouTube, you will see when you have TubeBuddy downloaded on the right hand side, you will see some form of like analytics or analysis come up. So you can see the search volume is fair. It's like orangish and the competition is good, meaning there's low competition. So not a lot of people have made 2021 videos. You can see there's some people that started it, but very little. And some people are like kind of, uh, I don't want to say lying, but like they just changed their title. The, the chick just wrote 2021. It's six months ago. It's, 20, it's been 30 days in 2021. So some people are doing some stuff like that. Now, uh, like I said, there's the, your overall weight is good, meaning there's a 56% chance your channel can do good. Keywords are a key tool you need to use to basically enhance and grow your channel. And this helps you get that point. So you can always just t tweak your searches and tweak the wordings on basically how to grow your channel and like what you need to do to basically make that next viral hit. So a lot of these stuffs you can literally, so, so if, if I use, if I wrote instead how to use TubeBuddy, for example, it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot harder. See, it's fair. So this one, there's a lot of searches per month about almost 1800 but again this is a lot harder because there's people like and i want you should subscribe to these guys like nick nick nimmin and whatnot there's another person i can't see his name over here uh that very much explain you uh, to buddy and other these features in very much detail and in general how to grow on youtube but this is an example of okay maybe this is something i don't want to use in my title maybe i want to say how to use TubeBuddy to get views on youtube instead Maybe that's a better search term. Look, it is. The search volume is very high. The competition is fair. It's in the 50 range. So this is a tool that you're supposed to use to basically help you grow immensely. So for now, when you have this and you know what to do, you can look at your competition. For example, I will use, oops, sorry, I'm going to mute that out. I'm going to use Nick Nimmin as an example on like what you need to do. So when you're on his channel, let's say this is a competitor. This is the type of, you make YouTube tutorials, for example, and this is a competitor. You can then see what type of keywords he is using and you can literally take his keywords. You can copy them literally to the clipboard and then paste it in your tags. So that is one of the most powerful features that I really much love from TubeBuddy. Um, I know vidIQ does this as well, but again, I just like this a lot more. You can see the SEO score is beautiful. You can see like the views ratios, everything he is doing is all there. The Facebook likes, Reddit upvotes, et cetera, et cetera. Again, these are all social metrics that matter, that help you grow on YouTube. So that is another feature that I love, love to use because you can literally utilize this and then copy it over to your channel and go from there. 
Now I'm going to go back to my channel. Again, fairly new, 30 days old, nothing too crazy, uh, or not even 30 days old, 15 days old, I should say. And we're going to go with our late, earliest video that I made, Postmates. I made a video on how to get free food for Postmates. Um, this is not a clickbait, it is actually legit. So I was smart. I did how to get free food from Postmates 2021. I was one of the first people to do it. Again, it was a new channel, so it's a little harder to grow. So I'm still getting views, about 40 to 50 views a day. It's growing at a nice pace, and I, uh, the impressions are going, the click-through rate is growing which is good to go. So you can see uh, everything I've over here. I have like, you know, the description and everything that's needed for this type of growth. I have my hashtags in there. I have certain other keywords at the bottom. And now we're going to get into the TubeBuddy features. So there's certain TubeBuddy defaults that you can have. I do not have a default profile yet. Um, you can have chapters. You can add info cards. You can get a like on Facebook. It tells you exactly what to do and what these best practices that you should be doing. And it tells you the ones you've completed as well. Uh, you have your usual stuff from like YouTube and whatnot, like is it for kids, et cetera, et cetera. We're getting to the tags, which is the main feature of basically TubeBuddy. So you can see over here, I have certain keywords and they have numbers in front of them. What these numbers mean is my ranking in YouTube. So what you can kind of do to confirm this is you can go on incognito. I'm already in incognito, but like go somewhere where you're not logged in from your YouTube account and search that keyword. You should almost always come in that ranking, like number one or number four or whatever. So this is like a very good metric for you to know like where you kind of stand with certain keywords. And you can see certain ones I rank very good and certain ones, you know, not too hot. Um, we're just going to auto sort them by rank. So you can kind of see like what's happening. And this is something you should be doing as well when you have your videos uploaded. So you can see like I'm very good for most of my keywords and certain ones, you know, I'm not ranking that much yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. So what you're supposed to do like on literally either a day to day or weekly basis. And I do this on especially a new channel every single day. I go to the bottom and there's three certain things here. There's, there's, there's tags by relevance. So this is the relevance to your channel. There's tags by keyword score. And again, this kind of, there's question marks that kind of walk you through what exactly these are. Then there, like I said, there's keyword score and that'll give you like those percentages. And then there's search traffic. I don't really tr rely or trust the relevance and keywords that much. I personally rely on search traffic. So you can see free food, is doing very good. I got seven views because of free food and I, it's a 64 search ranking and then how to get free food got 10 views. So something like that, maybe I do that instead and I delete these other tags that weren't doing too good. You can see I put that in there and this is, it's all trial and error. You're going to continue basically doing this and seeing how it lasts. Like maybe Postmates 2021, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Like put that in instead. You're going to try, you because you, you know specifically the ones that aren't doing good or they don't have a ranking just remove them. So you can see Postmates 2021, I'm actually ranking six and it's still doing pretty good. So maybe that's something I need to keep and I'm going to keep it there. And basically you're supposed to do this on a, again, if you're a new channel, do it every single day. If you're like growing at a very good pace, maybe every week or maybe on specific videos, or maybe you do do it every day. If you have that capacity, like I try to upload every single day. So it gets hard when you're like six months in, cause there's so much massive videos to do. Like my gaming channel has over 300 videos way too hard. I just do it on certain videos that aren't performing well or that are performing well. So I want to push them to be even better. So this is like one of the main features that I talked about. Now, the only thing is if you are a free version, you're going to have only the relevance feature. They sadly, like I said, it used to be better before, but once they changed it, you're not allowed to change the keyword traffic or search traffic. So what you're going to do is they're only going to give you three keywords, the top three ones to be able to choose. And then on top of that, you can only have like j just those three that's and then you can you can still copy you can still do those other things so the workaround for that is what you're going to do is you're going to utilize youtube itself so you're going to kind of try to go into the free section so you're going to try to do how to get free food from postmates you're going to see anything that you can see over here and get from your competitors basically that and you're going to use the right hand side you're going to try different search engines here you're going to see which keywords work what's the best one for your title it's a little harder on the free version because you're going to have to do a little bit more work hence why the paid is easier because it's doing that work for you and but that's why you're paying for it um but the free version you're going to kind of have to do that you can see what people are saying you can take their keywords you can see which one has good views you can see how their thumbnails are made so you can kind of do an a b testing over there as well and the other thing you can do is you can technically write over here as well how to get free oops food from postmates so you can actually write it over here as well so you can see it's not letting me actually say anything because i've already have i think i have it in here somewhere already um 
But in here, you can actually dive a little deeper and it'll tell you. So Postmates. So you'll see, see, you have a different more, but if you are not on the paid version, you're only going to see the first three. So try to be as descriptive as you can. So you can do Postmates free. So over here, you can take the first three and then the other ones are going to be sadly, um, what's it called, like blocked off. Cause again, you gotta pay for those. Uh, it sucks a little bit, but you're gonna have to kind of like play around with that. The other very powerful tool that you're gonna wanna use in this is want more specific tags. So you can actually tell it like three to four word, five words on very something specific things that you want. So free Postmates food. So you, let's just say I write that. So it's going to target those keywords. And again, for you, it's going to be blocked. You can see exactly what the best ones are. And again, just try, you're going to have to obviously go with the first three. The other ones just keep playing around with the target keyword and keep getting exactly what you want and then kind of take it from there. So this is like one of the, like a few tutorials or a few specific items you can do to kind of like grow yourself exponentially from YouTube. And again, this is a tool that people don't know about or they don't really utilize. I am telling you, if you utilize, if you work on this for three to six months and do this every single day, take the keywords that you need. Don't make up a random title. See what your competitor is saying. See if the title is being searched for. See if it's like in that, I personally go for a 50 to 60 range. If it's a hundred, better. That means no one's making videos on that. And that's actually very true. I have made certain videos that absolutely no one was making. I was the only one and all views drove to me. I have videos over 100,000 views because of this on my gaming channel and my other channels. Like this literally does work. You do grow significantly from this. Your goal is to get ahead of the channel. You just got to go within your niche. You got to just start, keep searching, find the best title using those tools that I mentioned. You use those most used tags, see what people are searching for. Again, I think anything good and above is perfect. I always go with yellow and above, um, especially if the, if the competition is very low and you're like basically very good. And then like the search volume is in the middle. That's like jack on, that's like spot on. You're perfect. <laughs> that's like the best thing you can do. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Wanted to make a quick video on this to show you guys how to essentially grow on YouTube with TubeBuddy. It's a tutorial of 2021. This is a beginner tutorial. Uh, if you guys do like this, I am open to making like a more advanced tutorial. Uh, this would be more so lean towards people who have a paid version and, you know, kind of diving into that, you know, with the keyword explorer tool and like all the different other features that you can use from TubeBuddy. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But yeah, if you overall guys like this video, please smash that like button. Helps a lot. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Uh, and that more tutorials out. Peace.